cold it is this morning. 1.5 degrees. Good morning. So, to get out a lovely warm bed this morning. Get outside. 1.5 degrees outside it is. And walk to the shower block to get a shower. The not so glamorous side of fan life. But the diesel heat is on in the van, so it's going to be lovely and toasty in there. And the sun's out, it's going to be a glorious day. So, today's plan hasn't gone quite the plan. Basically, Casper wants to start this morning. We were also going to take him to the garage anyway because there's been problems with the engine starting. But then this morning, he's completely given up on us. So now we've had to call out recovery to get his turned off the campsite to the local garage. Bring us back and said it's gonna be another nine minutes before they get someone out to us because they've had so much trouble trying to find a van that could tow us to us to a garage because we've been a camper van. So I've gone out for a walk, just around the local area while Alex sits and waits for the recovery truck in case it comes early. I'm not sure where they're gonna tow us tonight because the tow it's back to their garage. And it's going to take me 90 minutes to get here. I'm a bit concerned it's like 90 minutes away, but we'll see. He's here. So Casper's getting taken into the garage to look at. I think it's a stop motor that's gone. Start a motor even. So we made it to a garage. It's the is it start motor. Start motor, yeah. Start motor. Um, the recovery guy came in, like, started it. Topped it with a hammer. Topped it with a hammer. And then we just drove to the local garage, like, ten minutes down the road. So they're looking at it now to see yeah. what problem is. If it is the start Fingers crossed motor, it can be replaced tomorrow. Yeah, but tomorrow. So I don't know if we'll have to, like, camp here in the van overnight or we'll have to get some alternate accommodation. We'll so they're having to push him out because the start motor won't even start now. So we've reached our camp spot for tonight. Um, he's, <laughs> <laughs> he's next to the garage in the car park. Um, yeah, they've kind of let us stay here tonight, aren't they? Which I think is nice of them. Yeah, so we're staying the night uh, in the car park um, next to the garage, and then they should have the part, uh, the start starter motor to replace that tomorrow. And then we'll be on our way. Then we'll be on our way back on the road. So we're, we'll call for a taxi, local taxi, to take us into Cortina. Um, some nice food. We're going to get some nice food. The bells. <laughs> we've arrived in Cortina. We've arrived in Cortina. It's five o'clock. We're going to uh, have a little look around and get some food. Hosting the Inter Olympics in twenty twenty six. There you go. Enjoying your local beer. Got a hamburger and chips, and I've got some frankfurter sauerkraut and fries with some bread that we've nearly demolished. So we finished our lovely meal. No thrills. We're just oh. having a little evening nosy around Cortina. It's beautiful. The lighting's gorgeous. The light yeah. is really nice. So we're just gonna have a little little wander around Cortina and get a taxi back to the van. Right. Yeah. Yes.
the, uh, the heaters on. Uh, camp's off for tonight, as you've already seen, um, ready for uh, tomorrow's events. We just had the taxi drivers drop us off, and we must have thought, what the hell are we doing? He dropped off at a garage that is shut in the middle of the night. <laughs> but there you go, so we'll, uh, we'll catch you tomorrow. Bye. <laughs> Bye for now.